Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Toon Talk Cassie, your favorite place for all things webcomic. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and show your girl some love. Alright then, so before we head into episode 76 of The Remarried Empress, let's check out some of the awesome comments you guys left on YouTube for episode 75. Pin comment by Crystal Watson. Crystal said, hold up. Hold up, 2556. Imagine this, right? Okay, we will be imagining. Sylvia shit is infertile, and after his idiotic plan, Rashta has the baby. Okay, we're following you. The baby comes out with green eyes. Sylvia shit walks out to throw a hissy fit. Hmm, keep going. He passes Duke Ergie and notices Ergie's green eyes. And shit just goes completely down. Ooh, Crystal, if you haven't already, go ahead and make this into a fan fiction, okay? If you turn this little scenario here into a fan fiction, all right, send me the link so I can read it. I will read your fan fiction on this channel if you make this little scenario into a fan fiction for me. Because this is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Arsley Sarda said, hello, Cassie. Hello, friend. Said, please post more of the remarried empress. Pretty please. Oh, thank you for the pretty please. But I only post the episodes that are available for free on Webtoons in order to avoid copyright infringement. And also as a way to support the creator of the webcomic. Um, I know there are other people who may be posting fast pass episodes. But on my channel, personally, I don't do it. I'm sorry, but we only get one episode per week right now since we've caught up with Webtoon. Major Maxor, what's up? Is this infertility problem the reason Navier and Sylvia shit <laughs> had a fallout? Did he feel guilty toward Navier and put distance between them? I think so. I think that is definitely one out of the top five reasons as to why um, they are having this fallout. You know what I mean? His guilt towards what he did to Navier. In regards to whether or not, you know, either one of them is infertile. Malakia, Malika Khan said, I was waiting for this episode. Thank you. You welcome, friend. Gina Lou said, OMG, which each episode, the tea just keeps getting hotter. I might burn my tongue next episode. Also, you should really check out in the bleak midwinter it has to do with soulmates gina i absolutely love in the bleak midwinter omega omega and anya boy let me tell you guys right now if you guys are not already reading in the bleak midwinter you guys should totally check it out such a great series i might do like a 10 episode short series type of thing for it i'm watching you people says 723 yes and I say, Sylvie is playing, I declare war. <laughs> He's playing it with the wrong one. Our silly Sarda say, yes, new episode. I've been waiting for this. Dixie Aguilar said, Navy is a class act. Down to the letter T. She is a class act. Major Maxwell said, Navy is a crew empress because she wasn't friendly to Trashta. Ignoring common sense, it was stated multiple times in the webtoon that empress and queens are unfriendly to mistresses. Even Grand Duke Kaufman said that in Lupin, the queen would punish the mistress just for showing up in front of her. Plus, Navia was already very kind towards Rashta. She never disrespected her. She never attacked her, and she even spared her from getting whipped when she saved Duchess Tuania's lover. I completely agree. I, I'm going to need to make this a... I had to go back and pin this because this is an awesome, awesome comment. All right, then. I'm going to have to do a video. Oh, hey, Simone. 
one of my little deep dive video on dress this whole entire situation that Dixie, not Dixie. Oh, on this whole entire situation that Major brought up. Okay, you guys. But right now we have five minutes, so let's head straight into the webcomic. And here we are at the Remarried Empress, episode 76. If you want to claim that the Empress is infertile, you must provide clear evidence. You must keep what I am about to tell you a secret. This incident happened before I had ascended to the throne. I don't think being a little extra weight matters much in the grand scheme of things. This is the first time your highness will be appearing as a couple in public, so you must look as perfect as possible. Both of you must watch what you eat until the ceremony. But. Navia lives for delicious food. Huh. Young Sylvia shoe. I have to ask mother to be less strict with our dietary restrictions. The infamous cookies. Okay, is that, is that his mother? The crown prince? Hmm. Navier Yes, Your Highness Oh look at the young Empress So cute I brought some cookies Is it really alright for me to have some? Answering her own question Of course it's fine to have some You should have some too. Mm -hmm. They were cute, adorable children. Look at them. No thanks. I'm okay. They're for you. You must be hungry too. I heard that they stopped giving you snacks. People would notice for sure if I eat all of them because I'll put on all the weight I've lost through my diet. Mm -hmm. So cute. Look at them. They were adorable as friends. Those cookies were for Countess Sophia. Can't you ask the palace chef to bake some more? And why are you giving that woman cookies anyway? Those cookies were laced with a drug. It's a drug used mainly to induce an abortion. But it can also render people infertile. Answer me. I'm guessing that is Sylvia Shu's mother. She looked a lot like the Empress. I mean, I know back in the days, but you know what? We'll talk about that at the end. Did you eat any of those cookies? Mm hmm Oh, my word. Oh. I heard that you were with the crown princess. Did she have any of them, too? No. I was the only one who ate them. I did offer her some, but she declined and said eating them would be breaking the rules. If people find out that Navier ate the cookies, there will be severe consequences. I can't let that happen. Oh, look at that. He used to be a really good friend to her. He actually had her back in that moment. Because I'm assuming if they would have found out that the Empress ate those cookies, they would not have allowed her to ascend to the throne. Because, you know, being able to provide an heir to the throne is typically very important to those 
in that type of position in our monarchy. The priest is like, the fuck you just told me? They said that the drug doesn't affect everyone the same way. We were served food made with ingredients that could neutralize the effects of the drug for a while afterwards. And we also took supplements that were good for our health. I don't think I need to tell them about the fact that I lied to my mother. I thought the drug had no effect on us because we only took it once when we were younger and we have been healthy so far. However, it's been on my mind ever since we became adults. I kept wondering which of us was affected by the drug's side effects and whether this was preventing us from having children. It's a good thing y'all didn't have no children too. Or the drug could have rendered both of us infertile. But when my mistress became pregnant, that is, I'm not going to bring that up. It became clear to me that I don't have any issues. Hmm. I had no idea about any of this. I understand why Emperor Soviet Shu kept it a secret. It would have been a great scandal for the late Empress if people found out she had tried to trick someone into taking a drug that induces abortion. Plus, the late Empress really liked Navier. I can't turn my back on my child. Now that I finally have a potential heir. That's true. You can't turn your back on your child. I do applaud, you know, him for having that thought. Although I do know he is just using the child in order to secure an heir to the throne. But nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? At least he is being an active father. High priest Wimmery, I want to protect my child. But the way you are going about protecting your child is so destructive, though. If you really had your child's best interests in mind, you know what? I'm not going to get into it right now. Let's continue. Your Majesty, you have a visitor. Is His Holiness the High Priest? The moment I've been dreading is finally here. Why do you think he wants to see you? Lady, you are nosy. She is always asking questions that ain't got nothing to do with her. Nosy, nosy. I'm not sure. Let's see what he has to say. Empress Navier. I'm like, hey. I see you already know why I'm here. Oh, he's sad. He don't want to do this. Look at him. He is sad. Please, take a seat. Her outfit, look at this outfit. It's a little bit different than most of the outfits we've seen her in. You guys do know I did a whole entire deep dive on Empress Navia's outfit. So, it's nice to see her in this little piece here. He's like, my heart, my heart. I got to tell her this. And the empress is over here like, um, okay, bruh. Just go ahead and say what you got to say. <sighs> Emperor Sylvia Shu cited several grounds for the voice. He told me your brother Kosar pushed his majesty's mistress who is pregnant with the emperor's baby, lies. He also said that Kosar abducted and assaulted a noble called Lotusu to extract information that he could use against the mistress. That's true, yeah. And he also mentioned that Kosar hired a couple to be the mistress's fake parents 
as part of a con? Lies? Where is Lauren when you need her from Purple Hyacinth? Huh? She's able to see the lies. None of those accusations are true. He also said that he must protect his child even though it's being carried by a mistress because you are infertile. That's not true either. I cannot accept any of the reasons he gave as being grounds for divorce. What has driven the two of you apart? The answer is simple. His Majesty loves someone else now. That's all. You will soon need to go through the divorce process. You must put up a fight. Do you understand? I realize that no matter how much I dread something, I somehow pull through when I'm forced to face it. Your Majesty, Lady Aritna is back. Oh, did she get the letter? Did you do it, friend? Did you make it in time? Sis, with the stride. To be continued? <gasps> oh, sis, with the stride. That's what I'm going to call her from now on. Because that stride, look at her. Aha! Sis got that stride, that power stand. <laughs> I like her. She's a nice bodyguard for the Empress. I'm hoping she will be able to follow the Empress to wherever the Empress goes. As you guys can see, there is no more. No more. As much as I would love to just sit here and binge through it all, there is absolutely not another one available for me to pick. Okay? See? I can't even click nothing. But what is available is five new episodes on the app, though. I am reading this on my computer, and even if I was using the app, these are episodes that you pay using fast pass coins. Um, and it's really affordable. It's about five coins per episode. So in the coins, I believe for ninety nine cents, you can purchase ten coins. Is it twenty coins inside of the store? Uh, let me check it out for you guys real quick. While I'm doing this, let's check out some of the comments. Because I have been... Let's see. And not only that, but Webtoons is currently giving away some free coins. You guys, they are giving five free coins for something called the hashtag Softboy Club. So if you have the app, you can download the app. And on there, you just have to read three webtoons. Okay, they give you three different options, up to 30 episodes. And all three of these webtoons that they give you guys, they are um, free to read. And once you've made it to 30 episodes, you will get five coins. And this is going on from May 23rd until May 27th. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, get your coins. And use that coin to, like, you know, read further ahead on Midnight. I'm about to say Midnight Popular. I got Tora on my mind. But read further ahead on the Remarried Empress. Okay, and yes, once you get to purchase 10 coins on Webtoon, it only costs 99 cents USD. Okay, so that's like $1 um, USD. But like I said, once we do hit, okay... A thousand subscribers I would do a big old giveaway and I will go ahead and provide ways for you guys to get some coins I'll give it to like I don't know when I did this a while ago on my previous account I think I gave prizes away to like one no three people it was between three to five people 
I would do this ever so often. Every time I hit a milestone on the channel, I would go ahead and give away. And I would give away some nice amount of coins, okay? We're talking about between like 100 to 300 coins, okay? So I'm not going to... When I give away coins, I give away a good amount so you guys can really binge. Um, let's check out these comments real quick, though. Captain B said, can you hear that? That's the sound of the priest's heart breaking as he spoke with Navier. You can tell this exchange was excruciating for him. Yeah. Hip username. Oh my goodness, hip username. I absolutely love seeing your comments. I feel like I know you, like we're friends. That's how much I, I look for your name. And then I'm like, hey, hip username. And plus, I just like your username. Said Priest, you must put up a fight. Navy is like, nah, I'm good. I got a backup plan. Like, bye, Felicia. Y'all can keep that BS. <laughs> Mortella said, I like that the author shows Sylvia Shu younger and actually a decent kid. He seemed like he really loved Navy. It makes him more human and even more frightening to see how he became so delusion, disillusion. Ah, yeah. You are correct. This wonderful person here says, so let me get this right. Instead of correcting his granted accidental mistake, he covers up his mother's plots. He denies any wrongdoing and gets himself a side thought instead. Blames Navia and her brother for everything. Justifies all his garbage actions to protect his illegitimate child. In conclusion, this backstory only proves that Sylvia Shu is utter trash. Oop, I was not expecting somebody to say that. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody said something that was funny. Um, where is it? Somebody said, oh, Princessa Dot Mano No Key said, watch Henry be able to put a baby in Navier after the first night together. Hopefully, Sylvia Shoe is the infertile one and the baby isn't even his. <laughs> Y'all not even going to give her time for her to enjoy her honeymoon. huh? Y'all want as soon as, you know takes place between Navier and Henry for her to get pregnant. <laughs> oh, man. Leo Lyonis said, why does this man sees, why doesn't this man sees red flags? Your mom drugs someone's cookie. Your side chick doesn't tell you about her kid who is at least three. The baby's not three. It's a baby. Yeah. Ian is still a baby if i'm correct i don't even think ian has celebrated his first birthday yet yeah because um whenever alan is carrying him he is still wrapped up like how you would wrap up a fairly you know newish baby I, i'm saying newish but you guys know what i'm saying right a baby who's about like six months and under or nine months and under i'm guessing yeah it hasn't been that long Technically, if you guys really look at it in the USA, we had this thing where basically both of Rosh's kids would be considered quote unquote Irish twins. Um, I hope that's not offensive to anybody, but yeah, they would be considered Irish twins because they would be born within. I don't know how to explain it because basically if Rosh is, well, Rosh is pregnant and if her current baby, the oldest one, Ian is less than a year old. You know what I'm saying? That means when she has baby number two, depending on the time frame, baby number one should be like they are, they are only going to be like separated by a couple of months. That's what I'm really trying to say. Like baby number one and baby number two are going to be separated by 9 to maybe if she's lucky 12 months. If 
you know they might be a year apart if at most but i'm assuming about nine months apart those two kids are going to be so basically it's like you know i don't, I don't know how this put it just google it and you'll be able to see what i'm trying to say because i'm confusing my own self but Three, a weird duke want to be lurking around her. Your wife not seeming unhappy about the divorce, but seem extremely prepared for it. I'm completely baffled by his mother lacing some woman's cookie and leaving them open on a table room. Clearly, he got his stupidity from his mother. She probably destroyed her own lineage with an open box of drug cookies. Well, Leo, Lioness, you have to take into consideration... They mentioned this in the past, in past episodes, but Sylvia Shu's daddy had a lot of mistresses, you know what I'm saying? And it's not cool what his mother tried to do and stuff like that, but the father had a lot of mistresses, and I'm assuming she was trying to poison one of the mistresses, or maybe poison all the other mistresses, because Sylvia Shu don't have any other siblings. Nobody has brought up a sibling. Not even a half sibling, so that must mean that you know his mother made sure to poison all of the mistresses the father had because back then there was no no <laughs> I don't know no way to put no birth control, yes, okay, there was no like real sense of birth control, I'm guessing, um other than you know old school methods but there was no real protective way to engage without it leading a high possibility of it leading to pregnancy so you know, that's all i'm gonna say about that like i'm i'm not i don't even know how to really <laughs> describe it but yep all right then guys well that's gonna be it for today's episodes i hope you guys were episode i'm so used to saying episodes with the s because i'm always reading more than one but sadly we are down to just one episode per week of the remarried empress i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did i do apologize for all the bloopers if i did offend anybody with the whole irish twin thing i do apologize um it's not something i go around saying it's just I don't want to say it's a common thing in the United States. It's just a known thing in the United States. Um, so yeah, I do apologize. And what else? That's my cat. She wants me to go ahead and close this video out. So if you made it this far and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Toon Top Mafia Gang Squad. The leader is my cat, Raven. <laughs> she is the leader of, you know, the Toon Talk Mafia Gang Squad. So if you want to go ahead and join, I drop new videos all the time, Monday through Friday. All right, then, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys who subscribe. Once we hit a thousand, boo boo, the party really gonna start. All right, for me going live because the live feature is only available once you hit a thousand subscribers and doing some awesome giveaways. All right, then, guys, until next time, peace.